Okay. <laughs> um, so I am filming today and I've got a friend with me pretty much every second. So I'm not going to purposely show you any of my animals, but if any join me, I'm not going to hide them either. Um, I'm going to be doing makeup today. I still haven't done my eyebrows, but I've been feeling really good and eating super healthy. I had some breakout here. Um, I had to, instead of, I don't know why I can't wrap my head around plucking or waxing, but I did shave my mustache. When I'm old, I'm going to be the most homely woman in the world, but... I find my hair grows back just as thick no matter what I do, and I've always had, like, very visible hair, facial hair, on um, here. I don't have any, like, um, chin hair or anything like that. Um, I don't, I don't know. So, that's good, I guess. For me, one less thing to worry about. So, I'm gonna get my barrel of makeup and I'll be back. Okay, this is very plain. I'm sorry, super plain. But anyways. Oh, it was unzipped. Oops, I'm zipping it up. Hi kitty. <clears throat> I found this. I don't know if I've told you that yet, but I lost it and found it. I think I told you that. We're going to do this today because I'm itching to use my Marc Jacobs eyeshadow. Um, my favorite nail polish. I need to paint my toes. My toenails are worn off very badly. Oh, hi. That's princess. What's up? Uh, don't stand on my keyboard. I have some milk in my cereal bowl right there. So anyways, um, lip mask. What shall I do? I have my pencil sharpener. This here is my foundation and I have not been outside like at all. Um, walking Raz is all I've been doing and I've been slacking a lot. I've been taking him on like half mile to mile walks but more frequently so I take him out a lot more but for a lot less time. Sorry Raz, I do love you. Ooh, itchy. Um, so super coverage uh, Juvia's Place Foundation Stick is what I'm going to be using on all of my problem areas. Oh, whoa. But, oh, and then if I want like a little bit more color coverage in any other areas, I'll just kind of draw some on there. But I'm also going to use in the very wrong color. Um, what is it? Hey, Shadow. This is Shadow. Hi, baby. <laughs> oh, hi. <gasps> yeah, he's like the biggest act, like, um, klutz. He's very big. He's a big cat, and he makes things happen a lot on accident because of his size. <clears throat> so anyways, this is a very creamy formula. Oh. And the applicator is huge. It's very, very big. Um, if you want to do drag makeup and you're a guy, <laughs> it's really made for people with huge features. Like, if you've got, like, shadow. <clears throat> oh. Shadow. He's like kicking at me now. Hold on. I've got to get him down because he's probably going to knock my light over. And he might even knock it over while I'm trying to get him down. All right. Come on. Oh, yes. You're so beautiful. Oh, no, no. Oh. Okay. 
anyways, so now my face is covered with a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, and I have my favorite foundation brush and my Blendiful. I've decided that out of all of my brushes for powder, the Blendiful, oh gosh, it smells very much like my makeup. It blends powder into your skin, into your makeup the best over anything I've ever tried. And I have tried poofs and sponges and things like that. I am an act, like a hardcore fan. Um, but still for a foundation brush, I would not go back on buying this. This is a great choice. Spreading it out. It doesn't seem to drink makeup. It seems to put it on my skin and blend it. It's Kat Von D number 10 foundation brush. But... If I were to say travel, all in one, dude, I would I would do this one here. Um, but this one definitely is my favorite. And sometimes I'll apply my foundation at home with the Blendiful just to remember how it works. And I'm always very delighted. But um, I've only got one. And since I prefer it for powder, that's what I use it for, for powder. Um, but I'm going to go in right now with liquid foundation. I should probably have my hair up. Whoops. Using this and it is Giorgio Armani. I don't know which one. It's full coverage, whatever it is. And um, <clears throat> it's got a very strong scent to it, which I think I've already told you guys. And I'm just going to blend half of my face with it first. To give you a good idea of the type of coverage it has, how natural it looks and blends, things like that. It definitely has a, a cast, and I'm pretty sure that's from the sunscreen. <clears throat> sunscreen tends to give makeup fuller coverage, but in a more natural way. Okay. So from my cheek to my neckline, you can see that there's coverage here and it's a little less pink, which will change once I put blush and bronzer on. But I do find that full coverage look is there. So let's complete the look on the other side. Raz is doing really good. Um, he's becoming more at home. It's been since April, May, June, July, August. So about, I've had him for about four months now. And he has certain expectations from me now. We've gotten in fights some. He goes and he sleeps on his dog bed and he will not come to bed with me when we're fighting. Um... But I will actually just pick him up and drag him to bed with me. And I'm like, nope, you are here. And then he begrudgingly sits down like, fine, whatever. I guess you're the only life that matters. Something like that. Did I not bring the cap with me? I always like to have the cap so that way I can like dump it all out into something that's reusable. Right now I don't have anything. Maybe if I actually open this up and just dip my Blendiful in here. Hey, Mama Kitty. The kittens are being shy. I thought they would be like, what's going on? And be out here first, but not, not right now. So I'm actually just pressing the Blendiful into the loose powder straight and the loose powder is a mix between the Kat Von D loose powder and um baby powder crushed eyeshadows crushed highlighters as it runs out I find products that I've purchased along the way and I turn it into powder because I don't want to buy any makeup it's so rare that I actually spend money on cosmetics Okay. <clears throat> I'm 
looking for the cover again. I don't have the cover to that. Whoops. Hey, do you want to go behind the curtain? Oh, no, look outside. You can get on the windowsill. Very good. <clears throat> She's a siren. She's very, very loud. She's a very big meower, but she's very easy also to calm down. She, if you just give her love. Um, what I like, she's not a lap cat, she's a hold me cat. So if you pick her up and you're just standing there, she will stay in your arms and purr until you decide to put her down. Versus, I've actually never had a lap cat. I've never had a cat that would just sit in my lap and, and chill out. I was laying down on the couch and she laid on my stomach and slept there, which was cool. But if I were to, if I'm sitting here and I try to bring her to me, she like gets all uneasy. So far, anyway. It's not, it's definitely not um, as dependable as picking her up and chilling out with her. She purrs so easily. Her kittens purr very, very easily, except for one. Actually, everybody's favorite one doesn't purr at all. Like I, or maybe just not for me. I don't. I don't care. Um, they do. Everyone looks at this one cat and they're like, "Oh my God, he's so pretty. He's so beautiful. He's so boring." But he's my son's favorite cat, and my son loves Brussels sprouts. He was eating Brussels sprouts this morning, which was adorbs. So I got that on camera for to show Corbin. I have so many, so much eyebrows. It's disgusting. I hate my eyebrows right now. I think it's like I'm, I leave them to be so thick and so bushy. And I quit, and then I just shave them all off completely. And I'm like, I'll just draw them on. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Okay. So I didn't use any primer or moisturizer. My face is very, it's very hot. It's very humid today. I don't have any. No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Princess, what are you doing? Okay. She was like trying to stand on my, the cable to the light that I have plugged in is, is actually hovering in the air between where she jumps from the window to the floor. But she jumped over it. That was good. Okay. Um, eyeshadow. I do my eyeshadow before I do my eyeliner. Some people do it the other way around, but I find I have to reapply my eyeliner anyways every time. So I'm not going to do that. But this is my palette that I'm working with. Um, also, I did post about my computer not working. It's, it's going... I'm using it in a way that's causing it to crash. So I have to be more careful with how I use my computer, apparently. So it's my bad. Um, using it... With... Um, this connector that connects it to my TV, which my TV is probably out of commission. I haven't tested it. The cat's knocked it down off of the TV stand. Um, but anyways. <clears throat> so this color, the latest one is Ad Last. I love that song. At last, my love has come along. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, so when it's my laptop is connected to the TV and the charger, it does charge. It, it charges terribly though, and it stops charging, and the charging symbol changes from charging to plugged in but not charging and it's the only time it happens but after it happens due to being plugged into the TV like that it continues to happen so I'm no longer gonna plug it into my TV I guess 
and I reinstalled the iOS. I took everything off and reset it, and it hasn't happened since then. But I don't want to. I don't want to fight with it. So, anyways. <sighs> I'm going to go in with, what are we going to go in with, mm, found, mm. on my eyelids, found, And then what I do is I notice that, see this area here, this little triangle, has a natural shaded area that just looks deeper. Um, in this palette, True matches it. It looks very similar. So I just take the excess off my brush, and I dip into that color that it's looking the closest to, and then I just trace over it. So it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to mimic those natural shadows that I'm finding and just add more sparkle sheen to that area. So do you see the difference? I don't, I don't. It's just what I've always done. Okay, and then, I'm going to take this middle color here, my favorite one. It's called The One. It's beautiful, vibrant gold. And with my finger, I'm going to pat it in the center of my eye. Like so. I'm not done with this yet. I'm probably going to use some on my bottom line. But first, I'm going to apply eyeliner and mascara. I don't know if I want to use liquid or pencil. I'm gonna use the pencil. This one I feel like is more user friendly. And I also started with pencil eyeliner. When I was a girl, the first eyeliner I used, probably Maybelline 01 Black. I don't know, it was my mom's. That line is nice and deep, but you can see how powdery my eyelashes are. They definitely need some mascara. Um, this is one big reason why people skip mascara and they use clear. People are like, well, how would you use clear? Clear mascara cleans off that powder, and you can see your natural lashes. So you could get away with the clear. But I prefer that fuller, more intense black mascara look. Do I want eyeliner on my bottom lash line? I think I do. I really do. And I also want like an intenser, more intense um, inner corner. So I'm probably going to add just a little bit of disco dust on the inner corners of my eyes. What a cute face I'm making, huh? <clears throat> so I haven't gotten my COVID-19 shot yet, you guys. I'm going to. I was put on a list and um, for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, 
And as soon as I got my name on the list, they called me and said that it had been discontinued or um, recalled. And then they said that it wasn't that pertinent. I didn't have to come in. They said they were working on it and it's going to come back. Um, but I guess it hasn't come back yet because they haven't called me yet. And I have doctor's appointments in and out and they still haven't updated me to let me know it's time for my shot and they made me feel dumb for feeling like I had to get one right away. So I might bring it up at my doctor's appointment at the end of this month. I'm not worried. I've gotten so many shots. Like when I was in the army in the incoming welcoming base thing, they gave me seven shots. I think one of them was like two or three shots at the same time they gave me a shot in my butt they gave me there's so many so many shots all at once so I'm not afraid of shots but I'm listening to them and what they think and with all like actually because of the recall at the time they said that it was probably best if I just hung tight and waited until they let me know so like when they're recalling um a product it's probably not a good idea to rush it is what they were trying to say so Okay, Ooh. what's the point of makeup when it just makes your eyes red? <clears throat> what is this? Like an extra splurp of makeup in the middle right there. <sighs> this looks ridiculous. Okay, beautiful. It's hot. Oh, is it hot? <sighs> I wonder if... Oh. Oh, I forgot this is trash now. That's why I'm not going to use it. It had the end of its days. Throw this away. Dang it. So, I'm going to apply some bottom lash eyeshadow before I apply my mascara because then the powder's going to get on the mascara and make a mess anyways. But thank goodness I was talking about my computer issues. Um... It has balanced out. I tried to get a hold of tech support, Apple Care, and they were not very helpful because I don't have their program right at this moment. So I don't have Apple Care anymore. It's expired a long time ago. This computer, I've had it for 7, 18, 19, 20, four years now. And when it works, it's a dream. I suggest everybody get one. And if you can afford Apple Care, do that for sure because Apple Care is a dream. They actually had to take my computer three. I got use of the Apple Care. They had to take my computer in three full times and give me a completely new computer. I'd broken my screen twice, and one time it just crashed and wouldn't. It, I lost everything. And I knew it wasn't the battery because I would open it. And it would show that the battery was fully charged, but it wouldn't turn on. So, yeah. I do suggest that. Oh, oh, oh. So right now, on my bottom lash line, I'm using the only. And that's going to give it a nice cast. Versus, like, the, the black. It just makes my eyes tired and funky looking. Weird. I love this color. I love all these colors. And I didn't use my favorite color today, which is love. Love is the most beautiful black, um, green. It's like an Egyptian black. Like Clinique had, it might still have this cream eyeliner called Egyptian black. And it was it had like this green tinge to it that I really like for sometimes, especially since my eyes tend to be hazel. Like right now, they look awful brown. But they do come across as green at times and I always make sure to get that on camera <laughs> very um, egotistical narcissistic what's the other what's the C one anyways me I'm like they're green my eyes are green look look and they show everyone hey it's true but most of the time they just look brown so actually something all of my boyfriends tell me is my eyes look like sunflowers. That's a weird coincidence. It's like they get together and have this 
<laughs> tell her, tell her about her eyes, what they look like. So anyways, for lip color today, I wanted to use something dark. I don't know where my darker lipstick is. I gotta dig it out. So I'm probably gonna pause you guys and dig that out. Put on some Tom Ford, I guess. But not Tom Ford fragrance. I was thinking of using Dior. Miss Dior fragrance. It's so beautiful. It smells so pretty. Like there's something epically feminine about this stuff here. I love it so much. It like changes my personality when I wear it in a good way, according to me. So like a cup of coffee. I ran out of creamer. I didn't go into the grocery store until like after it was around 3 34 o'clock when I finally got to the grocery store. And then I got home and I brewed my coffee. I didn't care how late it was. So I was like, nope, it's time. I'm not going to go without today. All I hear little meow meows. I can't believe I didn't get any visitors. No kittens anyways. They're very, very independent. Doing their own thing. And this is still, you guys, um, fabric paint. And sometimes I water it down. When I mix it up in this one, I it's this is a lighter formula. So I mix the fabric paint with like a very minimal amount, like a drop of water, literally a drop of water, which highly thins it out but it mixes really well it mixes super super well so um that works out if i want like a thinner formula and this is easily buildable and it comes off in hot water in tubes so uh, make sure you get non-toxic if you do decide to use fabric paint for mascara and it's also it clumps weirdly but I don't mind for the price it's a dollar for a huge like full ounce and then um, not even two squirts of it fill the entire mascara bottle so yeah make sure between uses you completely clean out your container sanitize everything and then sometimes say you're not using it and it's been three months clean it out anyways set just do a fresh Fresh brush, fresh paint is what I would suggest. But so far I haven't noticed any adverse reactions on myself. So, But I don't have sensitive skin at all. For as much as I do get breakout really easily, I have very hardy skin. So I break out wicked easy, but I don't know how to explain it. I'm not afraid of getting stung by bees. I'm not afraid of poison ivy or mosquito bites. Like, I, mosquitoes don't bug me because they're just something that happens. I'm not, like, upset by their bites. So, I really wish they came to visit me. I got, like, a, I rubbed here with my finger. Do you see how it's red right there? And it's not right there. How long have I been recording? Oh my god. And not one visitor. So you can see that the Rimmel London um, eyeliner, I don't know if you can tell, it's breaking up in like segments. That's really weird that that's happening. Revlon. It's not Rimmel London, it's Revlon. I love Rimmel London um, nail polish, by the way. But I do like this stuff too. This is um, Revlon nail polish, and it feels like big girl nail polish. I I don't know. There's something kiddish, alternative rock, hippish about Rimmel London, and Revlon to me reminds me of little old ladies. Anyways, all right, curl my eyelashes. Get in on this inner corner of my nose. Get that to here. I 
cameras. Am I taking it off or am I evening it out? Oh. Hmm. It's fine. <clears throat> I still got to do bronzer, blush, highlight, and lips. So bear with me, you guys. This is a long one. Yeah, setting spray. I'm so glad I got my groceries done. And my groceries tomorrow with Corbin are just to go out and do something together. We have free coupon at Chick-fil-A. So we're going to share some chick chicken minis for breakfast. And then go to Walmart and just pick out some dumb stuff. I bought all the important have to have stuff um and then I give them like 20 bucks a month of dumb stuff like Oreo cookies um candy like gummy worms gum things like that uh we're going way back on soda we can't buy soda without binging so we're trying to do zero soda this month uh I think that's it. Why oh not? So we're gonna make our own cupcakes too. I got the ingredients to make cool cupcakes, and I also got some Jello too. This is my Dose of Colors um, Disco. I love Dose of Colors. I haven't bought anything. There's cream on top from them since this order, and I've even talked to them about making an order, and I didn't. I was like, can I have a coupon? I signed up for your email and I didn't get the savings and they could check. I actually literally have never bought a dose of colors using their coupon, but I signed up and then it was an expiration and I didn't realize that. So I didn't get the expiry. I didn't get the coupon. So I didn't buy anything. And then I called her, I uh, emailed them and let customer service know and they got back to me and they're like, oh, we're sorry about that. This is a coupon that doesn't expire. Um, you can just use it whenever you want and it was for the same amount and I never used it I just like I lost it actually between now and then but um, I do love the company she's kind of a bully if you watch her YouTube videos she's just got this really big personality where she's like uh, like a bulldog or a pit bull or something she's she's got that heart there like that okay so we're gonna do lightest shade first so we can use the same brush or am i gonna use the blendiful maybe i should use the blendiful so get some contour in we'll see how bad i am at this i want some contour like right here and i just want it to look Natural shadow. Wonderful. Oh, feeling myself, you guys. I love this. This is so nice. Okay. So, and then it's pretty much easy street for forehead here. Like so. And then just along here with whatever left over. Nice. <sighs> Blush. I think I'm going to use a blendiful again. It's okay if it's a little dark. And then I give like a little teary smile and just pat in the apples of my cheek and blend backwards towards my ear. And then I usually put some on my nose because if I don't, then I have like this weird doughy look I don't know how to explain it very makeup fake looking I guess that's how I perceive it anyways and then for a highlight using the blendiful again just on like where the lights naturally hitting it like so oh this is a little powdery you can tell and then my forehead and shit it's all light can always go over it with more bronzer or blush but I like it to kind of catch the light some I'm gonna get my lip color and be right back oh that's low key. <laughs> Ew. 
<clears throat> that was Loki. All right, well, I definitely want more blush. I could not find my Tom Ford lipstick for the life of me, so there's that. It's got to be somewhere nearby. Super pink lip liner. Kohl's has Sephora now, you guys. This is the closest I could find to Tom Ford. And then Sexy Mother Pup Pucker Pillow Plump XXL Clear. I love this stuff. Mm, any blush? Maybe I'll just use my NARS. This is NARS Orgasm. I tried this one here. It's not going on dark enough. This one's not very dark, but I feel like it's more noticeable. We'll see. I don't know. I feel better. I don't know if I notice a difference. Some setting spray. This is really the Urban Decay Chill. Um, I think it's the night. Is it just chill? Cooling and hydrating. Paraben free. This stuff here, you guys. It's good stuff. So, anyways, thank you for sitting with me for so long. I'm sorry to go on and on and on. And I don't think I said anything new or interesting. Just did make up. But did I curl my lashes? Let's do it again. Anyways. I had fun. I haven't put makeup on in a while. So. <gasps> Did you just fart? This farts smell like Brussels sprouts. Corbin doesn't think so. I think so. <laughs> Corbin thinks I'm crazy. So. It's a genius. Anyways, um, I will see you in my next one soon. So, thanks for watching.